In today's video, we're going to be covering some of the best niches to dropship in one of the world's most unique marketplaces, Etsy. Now, currently, Etsy is an untapped hidden gem for dropshippers. You can pretty much think of it as eBay, but before it got oversaturated with so many sellers selling the exact same thing. Now, what exactly is Etsy dropshipping and what makes it so special? What makes it so unique? Well, simply put, Etsy dropshipping is just basic dropshipping, except on Etsy. It's your typical fulfillment method where somebody places an order in your store and all you simply do is reroute that order to your supplier. Then your supplier is going to go ahead and fulfill that order and update you with the tracking. Then it's up to you to update your customer and your platform with the tracking number and that's that's pretty much it. Now, what makes it special and unique are the niches and the items that are actually sold on Etsy. People go to Etsy specifically looking for these types of items. Now, every single one of the niches and the items that I'm going to be showing you, including all of the links I'm going to have available to you in an easy to reference cheat sheet. Now, if you want access to that cheat sheet, all you have to do is go ahead and comment down below hashtag Etsy niches and let me know which one of these niches is your favorite and which one you plan in implementing into your store. Once I say that you went ahead and did that, I'll go ahead and reply back with a link to the sheet. Now, as mentioned earlier, Etsy is known for their handmade crafts. That's originally what Etsy was started up for, for people to sell their handmade items. Now, I know as dropshippers, that's a little bit hard because we don't make our products. We don't keep any inventory. We don't ship anything out. But here's the thing. You can start selling handmade style items or handmade look items or even just plain handmade items because some items are actually made by hand. Now, if we look over on the Etsy marketplace, I looked up handmade cups just as an example. So as you can see, there's tons of different cups here, some with different designs, different patterns, different styles. As you can see, this one has a bunch of little bumps on it. It's actually pretty cool. It's pretty unique, but there's one in particular that I actually want to show you. So look at this one right here. It's a Japanese coffee mug hand handcrafted handmade now i haven't sold this one in particular but i have sold a variation on it and it sold pretty well on etsy at one point i was getting at least two or three different sales of that same cup every single day now speaking of handmade cups if we go on over to one of our suppliers aliexpress we can find this one so this is actually another one that i sold on one of my stores and it did fairly well as you can see it's a basic wooden cup there's really nothing that's like extra about it or extra special about it but it's handmade and when people see handmade they're willing to spend extra now, this style item can actually be handmade. So that's what we're looking for. We're looking for items that look handmade and that can actually be handmade. I mean, let's be real. Are we going to say that these headphones are handmade? No, people are not going to fall for that. Even if they were assembled by hand, you can't really say they're handmade. Now, let's take, for example, a keychain like this. This can pass off as handmade, even though it was purchased from a store. It's wood, it's burned. This can qualify as a handmade item. Now, I started digging through AliExpress a little bit just because I wanted to give all of you the cup that I was actually selling on my store. And this is it right here. This ceramic retro coffee cup. Really, more than anything, this is a teacup. It's actually pretty small, but it's a handmade item. It has a wooden handle and people absolutely love this particular cup. Now, of course, as I mentioned earlier, the link to this cup is going to be in the cheat sheet. So make sure you ask for that. Now, AliExpress is great as a supplier and they're perfect for Etsy because some of the items on there actually ship and are received within about two weeks. But you need to make sure that they have that kind of shipping. A lot of the times when it comes to AliExpress, if you don't check for the shipping, you might get stuck with a product that takes up to a month or two to be delivered. And trust me, on Etsy, people do not want that. Even though on Etsy, people are a bit more understanding when it comes to longer shipping times because, you know, handmade items. But regardless, one to two months is unacceptable. So if you're using AliExpress as a supplier, just be aware of that and always make sure you check out some of the quicker shipping items. Now, AliExpress is great. I don't want to knock them, but more than anything, I like to use them to test out different items and see what works because they have such a vast library of products. But if you want quicker shipping times, proven quality products and overall pretty good prices, then you want to check out the AutoDS warehouse and private suppliers. So going back to our handmade niche for Etsy, another niche that does very well on Etsy is actually jewelry. Now, this in particular, I'm showing you this as part of the handmade section, but this can go both ways. This can either be handmade made, it can be jewelry or it can be handmade jewelry. So this is a simple rope bracelet that can qualify as handmade. A lot of the times, depending on the countries that you go to, if you travel abroad, there's a lot of people that are selling these items actually on the streets and they sell them really cheap and they're all handmade, which makes this particular bracelet or style of bracelet a perfect addition to pretty much any Etsy store, as long as you're in the right niche and as long as you're niching towards, let's say, jewelry. Now, if you are using AutoDS as one of your suppliers, then you have the option to actually connect your Etsy account to AutoDS. So that way you don't have to worry about even listing any products. 
products. All you have to do is, let's say you find this one and the AutoDS Marketplace. If you want to add it to your store, just go ahead and click on import draft. Once we click on import, then it's going to be added to our stores and it's going to be ready to sell as soon as we want it to. Prior to that though, I do suggest that you make some edits, you optimize the title, the description, and you make sure that all of the images are clear and crisp. Now, moving on from the handmade niche, we're going to go on to our second niche, which is going to be vintage and retro goods. Now, did you know that there is a difference between vintage and retro? So vintage means meaning that the item is actually from 20 years ago. It's not something that's made or manufactured today to look like it's older. It's something that's actually older from that time period about 20 years ago. Now, retro means current items, items that are made today or within the last few years that resemble older vintage items. So a lot of times you're going to see vintage sunglasses, but they're not really vintage. They're vintage style. That's just a quick tip and a quick did you know for all of your informations. Now, here's a few examples of vintage items. So on Etsy, I simply just typed in vintage and this is everything that came out. So as you can see on Etsy, there's definitely a market for vintage and retro goods. Now, one particular item that actually does fairly well on Etsy is vintage style postcards. So these you can pretty much find anywhere, but I found them on AliExpress and you can get them for $2.30 for the entire lot. Another niche that's actually really popular on Etsy is also going to be accessories and accessories plus vintage equals massive profits. So check these out. These are vintage style oversized sunglasses. As you can see, these are 1970 style and they're running for over $14.90. So if we look for a color, we can see that pretty much they're all $14.90 except for one of them, which is a cream and ivory, which is simply just a dollar more. Now taking a quick look over here, you can see that over 20 people have looked at this in the past 24 hours. That means this item is actually getting some pretty good traction. A lot of people are looking into this because they're liking it. Like I mentioned earlier, vintage style really has a huge market on Etsy. Now, if we scroll down just a little bit, let's check out the reviews. You can see that the store itself has 2,300 reviews. So that means they've made quite a bit of sales. Now, specifically for these sunglasses, they actually have 326 reviews. So they have sold definitely a lot of these. And for sure, they've sold more than 300, probably even more than 400 because not everyone leaves a review. But as you can see, this is pretty much five out of five down the board. So if you're not selling sunglasses like these, I suggest you get on it. Now, so far, if you're enjoying this video and you're finding value in all of the information that I'm giving you, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos. Now, Etsy, as I keep mentioning over and over, is a place for handmade goods. But did you know that you can also buy crafting supplies to make those handmade goods? Yeah, people go on Etsy looking for supplies to create their handmade goods, to create their products, to recreate their items, and to even run their businesses. So one item in particular that I have experience with are t-shirts. Now you can find blank t-shirts on Etsy pretty much just by searching up blank t-shirts. You're going to find tons of different listings from people that sell these to decorate. So here on Etsy, as you can see, there's a bunch of different listings. They have different colors, some with pockets, some that are a bit more washed out, some that are tie dye. The possibilities and the variations here are endless. So you can really start selling different types of crafting supplies, t-shirts being one of them. Now, speaking of that, sticking to crafting supplies, another big seller is epoxy resin. Now people actually sell handmade goods made from epoxy resin, but people actually buy the liquid itself to be able to make these goods as well. So as you can see here, this seller is selling a set for $53 and 99 cents. And for those of you that don't know, when it comes to epoxy resin, you need part A and B. You mix those together and then that's when you leave it out for a little bit and then it hardens, making something really cool like this lamp right here. Now, just to show you a little bit more, if you keep scrolling down, you're going to see tons of different other suppliers that sell pretty much the exact same thing, just different brands or different variations of the items itself. And would you look at that? We actually came across the next item that I was going to cover, which is molds. So on Etsy, you can find different types of molds to be able to make pretty much anything. So there's molds to make candles, molds for your epoxy resin, molds for cookies, for baking. The variations for molds are pretty much endless. They come in different sizes, different characters, different styles, different animals, different themes, different holidays. And you can find all of them on Etsy or you can sell all of them on Etsy. Now, I don't know about you, but my wife, when it came time to having our son's baby shower, she searched high and low for different types of decorations, party favors, invitations, the works, pretty much everything that we needed to get that baby shower up and running. And the one place that she looked into was Etsy because on Etsy, again, you find some pretty unique items that are catered towards these kinds of niches. So with that being said, party favors is our next niche. Now, as you can see here on the website, there's tons of different party favors for a bunch of different occasions. So you have some things like cake toppers. You have some matches that are customized, some little chocolates here for weddings. You have some sunglasses that can be used as party favors for a kid's birthday. You got some custom shot glasses. You can pretty much find anything here. Now running over to the marketplace over at autods.com, which by the way, if you're not signed up for AutoDS, you can do so right now for just $1. And if you do that, you can get access to the entire marketplace and the winning products hub. Now, when it comes to the marketplace, it's pretty much just like looking through CJ Dropshipping or AliExpress, except with a lot higher quality items that ship a lot faster. 
faster. You also have the option to niche down and just browse through different categories. Now, here's the one thing that's actually my personal favorite about the AutoDS marketplace. If you switch over the supplier to AutoDS suppliers, you get all of these different items that are actually shipping either from the AutoDS warehouse, because yes, we do have our own warehouse with our own items in them, or from our private suppliers. Now, our private suppliers are guaranteed quality. They've been vetted to make sure that they have some quality products. And best of all, they have some pretty quick shipping. Check this out. So this one right here ships between two to four business days. And that's not two to four days for the supplier to ship out the item plus transit time. That actually includes transit time in it. So those two to four days is actually just the amount of time that your customer is going to have to wait to receive their items. So as you can see, it's pretty quick shipping. And just quickly going over the winning products hub, here you have tons of different items that have proven to sell and are currently trending. These all have a proven track record of actually selling. And if you click into one of them, let's say this wooden outdoor folding picnic table, you get a bunch of different analytics and a lot of details that can help you actually market and sell this item. Some of which being a profit analysis that lets you know more or less how much you can make from it. A Facebook ad that's currently running on Facebook for this particular item. So that way you can more or less learn how to structure your ad. And to help you out with that Facebook ad, you also get the target audience. As you can see, this one has a few different interests, including the outdoor activities, hosting gatherings, picnics, and gardens. And it's geared for both males and females between a certain age range. And it even includes occupations. Now, aside from that, the last thing I'm going to show you on here is going to be the website. So we also have a link to a website that sells this same item. So that way you can get more or less an idea of how you can structure your websites if that's what you're doing. Of course, that's not really going to apply to us right now because we're dropshipping on Etsy. But if you do have your own website, now you know. So getting back to it, jumping onto the marketplace over at autods.com, you can see that there's also baby shower decorations. This right here actually costs $16.99 for you to source. And I remember when I started paying for all this stuff, at first it didn't seem that bad, but it got pretty expensive pretty quick. So trust me, if you're selling party favors, you can upsell. You can go ahead and bundle the different options. You can bundle the different products because people aren't going to buy just one thing. People are going to look for the banner, the cake topper, the invitations, the party favors, the decorations, everything. They're going to look for everything. And if they can find everything in one location, in one store, trust me, they're going to try to buy everything in one place. So that way they can just get it over with. Take it from personal experience, having to look through different stores to look for different items that match is a pain. So if I had found one store that was specialized towards, let's say, baby shower decorations and had everything I needed, I would have just purchased everything from there. And just quickly jumping over to AliExpress, I looked up zoo birthday decorations. So that way you can get an idea of a few other types of decorations that you can offer. Here, there's tons of different items that you can offer. So you have the plates, the napkins, along with the cups. Then you also have some decorations, some blow up decorations, this wall in the background for pictures, these masks right here for party favors. These will do absolutely amazing. People love these for kids' birthday parties. And again, people buy these in bulk. People buy multiples of these. They're not just going to buy one. So if you're thinking that the profit might not be exactly what you want it to be, just think of it this way. People are going to be buying multiples. So the profit is going to end up compounding on itself. So it's just going to keep multiplying. Another top selling niche on Etsy is definitely going to be art and art prints. Now, art is, of course, subjective. So you can offer quite a good amount of things when it comes to art pieces. So for one, you have things like art prints, you have canvas prints, pretty much art that's ready to hang on the wall. And speaking about that, here's one on AliExpress, which is a simple graffiti canvas print. This print comes just the print itself and it's printed on canvas. So it's going to feel a lot better than the basic paper one. And people actually tend to really gravitate towards canvas because it's a higher quality material. Another thing that you can sell when it comes to the art space is going to be different types of sculptures. Now, the sculptures can come in different sizes. They can come in different quantities, different styles. But just as a quick example, we have this one right here, which is the Nordic Creative Colorful Abstract Sculptures. These are perfect to sell on Etsy and people really go crazy over these kinds of things, especially since they look like they could be handmade. So this is one of those items that you can put as handmade style or just even handmade. Now, those are just a handful of some of the best niches that you can start dropshipping on Etsy right now to start making some pretty good profits. But there's a lot more different types of items, different niches that you can sell on Etsy to keep making more money. Really, when it comes to being successful on Etsy, it's a lot of trial and error. Try different products, try different tags, try different keywords, and just see what works. If something's working, keep the item. If it's not working, if you notice that it's not selling after maybe two or three months, change up the description, change up the pictures, try changing up the tags or the keywords. And if you notice that's still not selling, just replace it and look for something else. As I mentioned earlier, Etsy right now is an untapped gold mine. It is a hidden gem just waiting to be cracked open. There's so much potential to selling on Etsy and especially drop shipping because there's not a lot of people on there that are currently doing that. There are some, but they're not as sophisticated as you can be with using automation software. Automating your Etsy store really will make the entire thing pretty much hands off all the way from importing your products to fulfilling customer orders. And if you want more information on that or how you can get started drop shipping on 
Etsy, then just go ahead and check out this video. It's a full step-by-step -step tutorial that will guide you through the entire process. Now, I want to quickly remind all of you about the cheat sheet with all the different information that I gave you in this video. If you want access to that, just go ahead and comment down below, hashtag Etsy niches, and let me know which one of these was your favorite and which one you plan on implementing into your store. Huge thank you to all of you for watching, especially if you made it all the way to the end. As always, my name is Mario with AutoDS, wishing you all nothing but success in your dropshipping journeys. Again, thank you for watching and I'll catch you all next time.